At Inmobi, we are one of the largest independent mobile ad network. We are a marketplace which enables advertisers to reach their audiences, and we enable publishers or app developers to monetize their apps. Inmobi today has about 800 to 1,000 employees. Uh, we are serving requests for users across the world, about 100 plus countries. We're located in 17 different locations. We ingest about a, a 10 to 12 billion events every day, and we have uh, about 1.5 billion active users on our network. So we use Aerospike in Mobi at four different applications today. We use it in ad serving path to uh, enrich the information about an ad request when we get. We also use Aerospike for our audience targeting platform where we store all the activities and attributes about a user, of what we understand about the user. We use Aerospike for enriching our stream, uh, the streaming pipelines when the data pipeline comes in because it enables you to do, it always enables you to do fast lookups there. And we also use Aerospike in some of our metadata applications where we use Aerospike to provide lookups for metadata for enriching and uh, analytics. So we arrived at the decision of using Aerospy because of some of the product features. Uh, for example, at Inmobi, we serve our ad requests from various different parts of the geography of the world. Right? And Aerospy has this feature of XDR, which allows cross data center syncing. So we looked at a couple of different technologies, for example, HBase and Cassandra while we were evaluating Aerospy. And what we realized is that with HBase and Cassandra, there was a lot of performance tuning which was required to be done and uh, to get the maximum performance. Uh, on the other hand, we found that Aerospy, the operational overhead was nearly zero. Uh, it worked out of the box and that low latency was one of the key requirements for us to make our product successful. And hence, we decided to go with Aerospy. So speed is very important in our business. For example, when we receive an ad request, we want to understand about this user. We want to know what InMovie understands about this particular user. And then we have to make certain decisions of what propositions to show to this user. And Aerospike for us sits into this path of serving where we query the Aerospike database to understand and get user data back. And this response we get in less than five milliseconds from the Aerospike database. And because of which we are able to respond to most of our ads within 30 to 50 milliseconds. And hence leading to better user experience and better conversions for our advertisers. And because of this low latency, which is provided by the Aerospike database, we are able to respond back to the ads faster. We are able to make much better decisions much quickly and hence giving the users a better experience, resulting into a higher conversion for our advertisers. And the second thing is whenever something goes wrong with any of the open source technologies like Cassandra and HBase, we have to go dig deeper ourselves and understand what is going on. But here we have the Aerospike team available to us 24-7. We are able to reach out to them and we are able to get the problem solved much faster. Aerospike has done pretty well for us. We, we have not seen any performance issues till date. Uh, every single time, in fact, it has met all the SLAs which we have expected to. And as we scale, I am sure that Aerospike will continue to scale with us. As we are growing and we are practically doubling the amount of data we are ingesting, I am very confident as uh, you know, over the coming years that our Aerospike DB will be able to grow and keep up to the speed of the growth along with what we are doing today.